Hi everyone, I'm Dragon with you. So today we'll see the new mutation brought by Mangaka and Tatarzerg or Wolfstalker. They did everything right with the new mutation called Binary Choice and it's about helping our runners transport. Two mutators say that one mutator represents units are vulnerable for only one of two players and the second one says that resurrection takes place over the map. So when enemy units died a special unit will appear and try to resurrect them from time to time. And uh, as you understand this first mutator is very irritating because you both need to focus on attack and resurrection. That's why typical strategies like one defender, one attacker does not work here, unfortunately. So, we'll see. And uh, there's one special thing about this particular mutation. They found a bug. So, the bug says you cannot do the additional quest. And uh, I hope that today we will see why it happens, and uh, the bug is quite unusual. I'd like to see it personally. So, Zeratul plus Zagara, probably they are kind of effective. And let's see what happened here. So basically we will fight against AI and this transport should survive. That's the story. So it will keep going through the map. You will need to clean the area around and uh, help it. So first of all, <laughs> some really nice interaction from our players. I think they tried to build a wall together. Uh, so you want to say that if you build the pylons then and cancel, then you can build. No, it's just there at all. It's just there at all, yeah. Okay, so top panel ability clean some units. And as you can see, this roach is not vulner vulnerable to one of the players, that's why... I'm not sure about this decision, sorry. Why would you do that? Okay. Initial security terminal is clear. So the first attack comes and as you can see from Wolfstalker one of the units is invulnerable to him and that's why the shield is above and the second unit can be dealed with so he needs to kill Zerglin while Mangaka needs to kill the Roach that's the first mutator See? So they need to work as a team and obviously each of them needs special forces. And here comes the Void Reanimator. This unit is quite powerful because he can reanimate almost instantly even hybrids. That's why you need to control the map and as you can see it also can be dealt with only using Mangaka's units so you both need to focus on them. Unfortunately Mangaka was not here and and yes, they blocked him. Oh my god, look at this. So they just blocked him. And uh, he doesn't know what to do, Lul. Oh yeah, so the pro blocked the reanimators. I'll make another screenshot. Okay, okay. But still you need to deal with the attack. So Zero Tool can clean a couple of roaches. For some reason they are running there and back, I'm not sure why. Okay, so... <laughs> oh yeah. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. 
Meanwhile, the transport is on the first spot. Obviously, they need to protect it from another attack. As you can see, three units for one player, three units for another player. Same about this attack. So what are you doing, bro guys? Why are you sitting on the base and doing nothing? Finally, they are here. And useful defense. Yes. So the suppression tower can deal damage using special circles. As you can see, you need to get out of the circles. It also deals straight damage to the Aurana's transport periodically. And uh, it's quite irritating that why you need to focus it. Fortunately, it's vulnerable to both players. I am really happy that it works this way. At least something is going right, I would say. Meanwhile, Zagara is here, but she needs assistance. Meanwhile, Mangaka is somewhere else. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> what are you doing, guys? <laughs> you made three void reanimators being jailed. Oh my god. So, guys, that's how you play StarCraft and have fun at the same time. And as you notice, neither of them has the second base. I know that Wolfstalker really appreciates having an early second base, that's why I'm not sure why he decided to play this way. Okay, anyway, they need to project transport again. So I think it's it's not a guide anyway, it's just just an approach how you can counter these irritating monsters. So yes, this slow in field. Zagara went fighting. She was very brave. Wolf Stalker cleared almost all his units. Meanwhile, Mangaka was somewhere else, I guess. He was trying to deal with the attack. And that's a mistake, because all the time remember to be together. So, from the Wolfstalker's view, these units are vulnerable, but Mangaka can do nothing with them. The opposite situation is here. So, Wolfstalker cleaned his units, while Mangaka's units go on fighting. That's a mistake. But on the other hand, he reduced the damage dealt to our runner's transport, that's why it's kind of just getting more time before Zeratul is here. Finally Zeratul is here, although he dies almost instantly. And finally the second base for both players. Okay, so somehow they dealt with the pressure and I think it's like... I would like to say, as funny scene is that there are no reanimators more. Yeah, I, I don't see any more reanimators. Oh my god. Okay, so meanwhile they need the suppression tower, so I'll show you. Um, well, Stalker can deal with it, and as you can see, Mangaka's units also fight with it. So it's vulnerable to both players, fortunately. So the effect of Mitator does not work here. Meanwhile, they did all necessary works around the transport. Another suppression tower. And uh, the funny thing is, as you can see, so they fight here, both finally fight here, and uh, no more reanimators are available around the map, so I think that uh, while there are four reanimators, there will be no more of them. Probably that's how it works, because uh, they just jailed four units, and as a result they just... I think they won the game using this uh, <laughs> special strategy, I would say this is a special strategy, guys, because I haven't seen such thing before. Maybe it's a bit unfair, but it uh, reduces the risk and uh, just let you defend the transport and not to control your back of the base all the time. So nice move from our allies. 
Meanwhile, uh, Void Array works as a teleportation, so finally Protoss technology is good enough to get the effect of the Nidus. One part is here, another part is somewhere on the base, and as a result, uh, he can just drop units everywhere he needs. So that's the second part. You can just get target here from all your production, and as a result, your army will go around the map. Like a Nidus, but it can move and uh, it's harder to destroy it this way. Okay, meanwhile, as we can see, he collected all the artifacts because 3-3 three, three upgrades are done. And uh, they're just cleaning the map, you know. And uh, as you can see, there are no reanimators. Yeah, so that works. Finally, they are together. Okay, another attack from backward. Actually, Wolfstalker has a nice bend, but he plays for Zagara, and I think that he needs uh, to split his forces still. So Mangaka uses his Void Arrays to control the entire map, and Wolfstalker just uses his second, third ability. It in improves the attack speed and the move speed of all the units around. So basically, Zagara gives speed and uh, Zeratul gives teleportation. That's how they control the map. And the most important thing is controlling this for reanimators using one little probe. And uh, actually they dealt with the mutator. Now it seems like a casual mission, they just need to project together and attack together and that's all. Of course you don't need to forget about observers. Be sure you have at least one. Cleaning around everything. And yes, so once again you need observers. Finally Mangaka got a couple of them. Oh, okay, it was Wolfstalker. Yeah, Wolfstalker got an observer. Meanwhile, a suppression tower. Usually one of you goes to suppression tower, the second one defends the transport, right? But in this particular mission I would advise half of the army to go here together and half of the army to defend together. Fortunately the attack was not too powerful, that's why they could get all forces here. Meanwhile, the transport is uh, being attacked, but the special effect of suppression crystal allows to win enough time. Just to get the necessary time. And as you can see, they just uh, deal with everything. So, talking about the option option saying that you can download AIs. Look at this. So, they went here. See? Yeah, they went here. And uh, they tried to get an AI. But it didn't work. And uh, it's like an enemy. So, for some reason, for some reason, nobody can activate that. I'm not sure why. As you can see, no enemy forces are around. And uh, instead, his forces just destroyed that. I don't know why, but it, it was a bug, and uh, you've seen that it should not be an enemy structure. Okay, okay, so the final battle. As you can see, casual aberrations from Zagara plus nice uh, mix from Zeratul. It's very expensive, but it's effective against both air and land units. That's why I really appreciate the enforcers. And the uh, abrogators just deal with the little units, they get crazy splash, splash damage around. Yeah. So, as you can see, they are fighting hard here, they need all the forces here, and uh, it would be a great pleasure to get rid of this resurrection. The resurrection is here, and it will not work till the end of the game. Perfect. So they dealt with another attack, now they need to deal with the suppression tower. Reinforcement from Zagara. 
let's make it a bit slower slower so see Mangaka did what he could but now he should go here and Wolfstalker need to swap with him because they changed the roles and another suppression tower yeah okay so finally they are together the top panel from Mangaka going somewhere for some reason and the uh, units from Stalker helping here as you can see everything is going right they even started destroying the enemy base but they thought okay it's not as important we can just hold here that's the right decision multiple suppression towers now you need to get rid with this attack and go kill the suppression towers fortunately both players can do that one after another almost no micro but still it's effective enough meanwhile here <laughs> one roach is hurting the transport great damage from our players as you can see everything is crashed very fast here meanwhile almost no defense but they have enough time to do that and here comes the victory so i would say that mangaka and wolf stalker did a great job here this mutation is quite irritating they tried to work as a team all the time and even found a way to deal with the resurrection so good game well played guys easy peasy <laughs> it's just your creativity so thanks for watching see you in my next videos special thanks to mangaka and wolf stalker for bringing me this creative replay special counter to resurrection and uh, good luck to you all see you